Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing well. For those that are new, welcome. Yeah, welcome to another edition of um, Life, Life Update. Life Update, <laughs> chit chat. So uh, yeah, let's get going, eh? we give you guys an update on what's happening in our life at the moment there's actually quite a lot happening so the secrets out everyone knows this week that we're finally moving back to Australia move back to the village be close to the family um, I'm just signed with the Waratahs who are a club in Sydney it was funny because it was actually the first club that I signed with as a, when I was back when I was 20 years old what? yeah looking forward to that but um, I'm still gonna be playing for Leicester up until the sort of the end of the year and currently we're in pre-season now so it's still a lot of rugby to be played before we move back um, but yeah look looking forward to moving back to Australia I think it's been 12 13 years since we've uh, moved out of Australia you know as a family the last sort of five six months we've uh, faced some struggles and difficulties and we just made a decision that it was the right thing to do to move back home and um, you know I'm, I'm grateful and thankful to Leicester Tigers you know, Steve in particular, uh, I said this in my tweet that, you know, for understanding my situation and so really excited, I guess, moving home, but also we've still got a few months left here and, um, you know, we're excited to make the most of it while we're here, so. Yeah, looking forward to spending time with our family and friends and yeah, now the, it has been super stressful because our shipment that was supposed to, what well, we thought would leave a bit later in the year actually has to leave in two weeks. Usually it takes two months to go back. So we're thinking October, November, our stuff will go back for it to be there in December. Um, but yeah, we got, we ended up getting a quote a, a week ago or a few weeks ago. And the guy was like, yeah, if you want it there to be in December, it takes about three to four months because of COVID and whatever. The delays. The delays yeah. and whatever else is happening in the world. So we are just like, what? what? So when is it that you need? They're like, August, we're like, so, so we've been packing. We've been packing. Um, and try to look, like, I've been packing while Nems is at work and trying to look after Ethan on my yeah, own. Yeah, that's been It's been, been really you. difficult. So I, like, stay up late at night to try and get as much as I can get done. Yeah, and, and, and I guess, like, because we're in pre-season at the moment, so coming home from training and we're actually getting belted at training, um, it's actually probably one of the hardest pre-season uh, I've done so yeah coming home and then big Ethan wants to play and stuff and you're just like don't have the energy but somehow we get through yeah um, but you no know, Kim's done really well she's managed to well ma mostly it's hers and Ethan's clothes uh, my clothes all in one uh, box so pretty much and I have so much to sell like clothing wise yeah. I thought like I culled down when we moved from France like I thought I sold a lot in France but then coming here I still had a lot yeah so then I'm culling down again and it's all fitting into like three like storage boxes yeah chaotic and then obviously next week I'm off to camp um, with in Jersey we've got a preseason camp and a, a friendly game at the end of the week uh, next week so again Kim's gonna be on her own packing and you know running the uh, running the cutter while I'm gone so I'm sure she'll uh, be all right now I kind of feel bad but yeah I've got to go to work as well so um, no we're really we're well not really against time no we're, but we just don't have time yeah we just don't have time to be fair <laughs> Oh, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Do you want to go play outside? Okay. We go play. Okay. Watch your iPad and then we go play. Okay. So, yeah, we're... We're... A few moments later. One extremely annoying shift later. And the other, the other thing that needs to be moved back to Australia are our dogs. So, for those... Um, who don't know, we've got three dogs, two Rottweilers and a Shih Tzu Maltese. Yeah, so that again has been a process. Um, Australia is so strict with their rules um, and regulations on how on bringing pets into the country. So it's been, what, six month process? Yeah, since like February. Yeah, since February we've been doing, they need to get vaccinated. They need um, to have all the medicals up to date. Yeah, they had yeah. to get a teeter test, which takes six months. Yeah. Uh, and then. And I think Australia's the only country that asked for that. Yeah. And so finally got it done. 
we're all good to go. They will leave at the end of the year just before we leave, don't they? Yeah. So their process is a bit long as well. They'll fly to Melbourne. They quarantine for 10 days. Yeah, then they'll fly to Brisbane where Kim and Ethan will be based. So, yeah. um, And then I'm obviously going to be in Sydney and uh, Kim and Ethan will have to come visit me every second week. Yay! I so. love Sydney. We met in Sydney. Yeah, we actually met in Sydney yeah. to be fair. So. And I got all my like friends in Sydney like that I grew up with like in my adult life. Yeah. My young adult life. So I've just got a bit of anxiety about the dogs. Yeah. Now. Like I've got... If anyone's actually sent dogs from the UK at all into Australia, I'd be interesting, interested to know how you guys how dealt it with went. it and how yeah. it all went. Because, um, you know, we... About yeah, it. we're probably more nervous about it. more so for Rocky, but I don't think Paco really cares. No, Paco and Kimber's already flown from Australia yeah. to France to the UK. She's fine. It's just Rocky. He has Rocky, like anxiety the, the issues. Yeah. So hopefully he'll be alright. He's the one that when we flew in from France to here, he pooed in the plane. So <laughs> we never told anyone that. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't. Have. So he pooed on that private jet. <laughs> Thankfully, there was no bill. Because I'll be worried. About it. But yeah, so they 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 leave end of November, and then we'll probably leave obviously um, around the December mark. Um, oh yeah, and everyone always asks us like how much it costs. Let's just say it costs an arm and a leg to send these dogs home. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. Yeah. Very very expensive. But in saying that, when we first got them when they were puppies, we made a, a pack. You know, we obviously it's a commitment. Yeah. And it's, it's not like. They're family. You know, they're family. You don't. I don't know. I just don't like how people would buy dogs and then leave them, leave them or neglect them. Um, you know, for me, it's simple. Don't get a dog. They can't. They're kind of like humans. You treat yeah. them how you treat your humans. So, yeah. but yeah, other than that, that's what's been happening. And our house is getting renovated in Australia. Yeah. So as we speak. Hence, hence why it just made sense for Kim and Ethan to live in Sydney. Uh, in Brisbane. Sorry. I um, mean, you know, I'm only on a short-term deal. Um, at the Waratahs, so it's not like I'm there long term. Um, so it's just, it just made sense for them to live in Brisbane in a house that we're actually currently getting renovated at the moment. It's just unlucky for them, they're the ones that are going to have to fly up and down. I'll, I'll do some flying too, but yeah, it's just better that way. So, but yeah, on that, on the rugby field, we're in pre season. Like I said earlier, we're off to Jersey next week for a pre season camp. Um, I can tell you now that pre season has been tough. So it's been a lot of rugby, a lot of running, a lot of sore joints, um, a lot of wop bike, a lot of cardio. It's funny because like all the training you do in the off season, you think you're training hard, and then you come in to the actual preseason and it just <laughs> you're way off the mark. And it's funny because like you you think you're fit, but until you start doing preseason, particularly with Alad Walters, who's our head S and C, mate. Let's just say doing the training in the off season was just to get your mindset ready but physically you weren't ready mm. so the other day i came home and um I, I i vomited after a training session which i don't vomit we did a cardio session and then ye yesterday i nearly passed out in our training session which was really hot and i came home yesterday it's the first time i've come home haven't i and i've just been like I have to lie down. Yeah. Like I literally have to lie, have to lie down. down. And he hadn't slept yet, hadn't he? No. Yeah, that, that tells you how hard. And uh, and obviously too, it's um, it's a bit hot here in the UK. Yeah. Surprisingly. England, yeah. England's been really hot. Um, so this week's gonna apparently gonna be even hotter. We got two more. We got two preseason games, and then September. This time, in about a month's time, we start our season. So before you know it, it'll be the end of the year. So um, time yeah. fly. Anything else? Yeah, on a sad note, you know, we are leaving here. We've made yeah. some good friends here and met some great people. Yeah, it's just... And no, I lots of we, good memories. Yeah, lots of good memories. And I think from now until we leave, I think we're going to just really enjoy... Uh, oh. Sorry, okay. guys. We're going to go. We're going now. You want your iPad? Yeah, on a sad note, um, we're going to, you know, miss our friends. And, you know, it's just unfortunate of, of what we've been through. And, you know, for us right now... As a family, we need our family, um, particularly with, to help Kim out um, and what she's gone through personally. I think from now till we leave, we're gonna really enjoy the time we have left here. Make the most of it. Make the most of it and um, enjoy each day as it comes. As we've been saying in our household, we've been saying just take each day as it comes. Yeah. And we have been literally. Yeah.
so um so yeah. yeah so there you have it guys that's our update so far it's a pretty big one but um yeah so we hope you guys enjoyed um this video and until next time bye, bye for now, now. bye kiss say bye bye thumbs up yeah